and this ladies and gentlemen is in Liverpool on any other ordinary Saturday it was a nice sunny day today and um, people are just having a good time brunch breakfast lunch dinner it must be getting hot in that thing it's very hot today So if you walk around town, you'll find a lot of people having little different activities, bridal showers, like you find people wearing the same colors, partying, drinking, actually just the basic. And uh, yeah, let's go to the museum. Hi YouTube and thank you so much for tuning in if you are bumping into my video for the first time my name is Holda and in today's video we are visiting the Museum of Liverpool right in front of you the building that ecstatic building that you see in front of you we're getting in there today swim and they're swimming down here apparently really <laughs> me and my black me will never do this guys what do you think it's all fun and games only if you can swim please do not attempt because mm -mm, i know us very well we cannot okay very few exceptional ones but mm, i'd love to they look like they're really having fun but the way she's just floating it's so nice hey? like she didn't even go that deep should i join <laughs> I will drown. <laughs> Even with her shoes. Having a good time indeed. Come on guys, go now. I'm waiting for you. Go. Yay! Oh wow, the fear I have of jumping into deep waters, guys, and how they are so relaxed. They <laughs> genuinely saved me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very beautiful weather today it's sunny that's why you see people jumping in the pools it's not even a pool we are close to the ocean i don't know if this water is coming from the ocean up here Ooh, nice one <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so that is the museum. We are gonna go and see. Um, it is open, um, but that's the Museum of Liverpool. Um, yeah, let's go explore. I promised you guys that we will do this one day, and today is the day that the Lord has made for us to visit the Museum of Liverpool. <laughs> so, take along, guys. Guys, if this place is closed one more time, then I don't know. Maybe it is not meant to be. It is not meant for us. I see doors are shut. No sign of a living human being here. No entry. So where's the entry? Okay, we go check behind, under. Otherwise, I go watch my people swimming. If I was crazy enough or if I was bold enough, I was going to jump in as well <laughs> but hell no i know i won't die but no looks very nice here i'm gonna try and see the, the entrance from this side so let's explore liverpool's fascinating diverse history in this magnificent museum located in the waterfront the Museum of Liverpool reflects the city's global significance through its unique geography, history and culture. Visitors can explore how the port, its people, their creative and sporting history have shaped the city. So the museum is free. I just, okay, there's music here. I can't. So the amazing collection spans more than 10,000 years of the Merseyside history, which is a Northwest England county how real does it look including uh, social and community history archaeologists the king regiment and transport and without the support of the people of liverpool as well as the liverpool's national and international links their collection would have not existed this is scary guys i'm sorry it's very scary for me so they also do suggest that if anybody has a piece of collection from the history that they would like to donate then they can do so uh, by uh, finding out more on the uh, donation page antiquities the museum holds approximately 80,000 artifacts from across the ancient world and is notable from this egyptian greek roman and anglo-saxon collection These are the coins they used before, living in Romans. The scalp we saw earlier was a replica of the oldest surviving skeleton from a messy side, Leo saw men, I hope I said that right, who was found in the Wirral Show in 1864. The skeleton was borrowed from the Natural History Museum in London and a 3D digital model of it was created. This has been used by a face lab at Liverpool John Morris University to recreate how the men might have looked like. Facial reconstruction technology develops quickly, so face lab have updated the model frequently, and most recently in March 2022. Oh, I forgot to mention that there is actually no entrance fee. However, they do ask you to donate, if you may, um, whatever you have, uh, but it's not a must. Like, they won't force you to, but there's a box asking for, for donation, otherwise the entrance is free. free. The Museum of Liverpool Life opened in 1993 and featured three main galleries and in 2000 it displaced space more than double when three new galleries were added as part of the Into the Future project and it receives over 300,000 visits a year. This is the first floor, it has two floors. The National Museum Liverpool developed the design concept for the building with a Danish architect and then Manchester-based architect were later commissioned to deliver the detailed design. And I tell you, I really, really, really love the design of this museum. Part of the land transport, what you see down there is called the Lion Locomotive, built in 1838. And then we have Omar Dragona. <laughs> and then on the side here, we have the train. 
I'm not sure where the rest of the land transport uh, vehicles are displayed, but they do say that they have over 200 vehicles ranging from that Lion locomotive that was built in 1838 to a Range Rover Evoque from 2011. Leading to the innovation of public transport system that allowed people to move around the city for work and leisure, it uh, then expanded into rail and road networks to carry goods to and from the docks. And as you can see, they were, okay, in a few minutes, you'll see the train, how it was then. And if you have to compare it to how it looks like now, it's really, really, really growth, hey? <laughs> Look at this train, how it was. Oh. The chairs inside must be uncomfortable. Oh, I thought it was a real person. <laughs> Please, guys, excuse my voice. I, I still have a sore throat. But uh, imagine traveling from, let's say, London with these seats. I guess it was not for long rides because why would i want to travel <laughs> so uncomfortably but i guess that was the best then okay so these are the city soldiers <clears throat> how they used to wear so how they used to dress very nice eh? elegant i like it but i see they still have the red in the uniform <clears throat> this is so nice uh. so by the looks of it it seems like red is their standard color for the uniforms although little details do change they keep it standard First World War. The Scottish dress uniform 1909-08, a structure of Liverpool's volunteer battalions mirrored society. Individuals remained all hot. Let's look at this. It's a fork, it's a knife. It's a combination of all. Aha. Uh -huh. These are their postcards. <clears throat> Tear gas. Hmm. If you want to read, please pause and read. What is this? Grave marker. Okay. Hmm. And this? This? And they look scary. I always love their uniform though there's so much history in this museum and if you're one of those people that loves history you'd really 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 want to spend some more time here and just spend time reading on every every item and object because i feel like it's very educational but for the purpose of this video it's just to show you guys what's inside the museum i don't really have time to read so enjoy
me show you guys where we are. We are here. Mm, that's the building. The museum is here. Yeah, here it is. We are here. <coughs> and then this is Liverpool. That's Liverpool. <laughs> Don't throw away your broken plates and and cups guys they will need them a few centuries away from now So this is Liverpool, the Museum of Liverpool, and I think I've shown you all the most. There's nothing much. What's the other team? I know Liverpool, Everton, what's the other one? Train, Train Mir. Never heard of them. Yeah, this is where 
club is the football club is <coughs> oh, we have a dragon here oh, what is this I think this is a horse looking at it now <laughs> but in my world then it was a dragona <laughs> I'm a dragon, eh? <laughs> Manchester United. This is all about football. And sports. Okay, hold them down. I'm done here. Yeah, guys, that's basically it. Um, there's a hip hop festival going on today, uh, but I'm not gonna stay for that because I want to go to the gym now. But yeah, I've shown you the most. That's the museum where we at, and that is Liverpool in general. It's a part we didn't go in, which is the spot. I don't know what exactly they have in here. Are uh, they closed? Okay, so they're closed, we can't get in. But yeah, this is basically it, guys. I hope you loved this video. Just a little bit of uh, Liverpool Museum, and uh, yeah, I showed you guys a little bit of. The museum inside the museum I hope you enjoyed if you can you want if you can and you want to pause the videos so you can read more on the history please feel welcome thank you guys so much for watching please do not forget to subscribe to hit the notification button and I will catch you guys in my next video bye We didn't get time to come here. I guess it's closed. Oh, it's just up here. I see. There's nothing much. We were up there. Remember the train? Yeah, that's where we came from.